Hello, everybody. I'm Paul Beckwith, and uh, what I just showed you was a screen capture from a recent interview I had with uh, Project to Save the World with the one and only Meta Spencer, and I was a co-host. She was the host, hostess, and we chatted with Nick Breeze about his book, Cop Out, describing um, his um, experiences over the last decade at the climate conferences, Conference of Parties, the annual conference. Um, I think his first one was uh, in uh, Paris, 2015. My first one was in Madrid, Spain in 2014. And uh, I don't <laughs> I think he missed any of them. And he wrote a fantastic book. So we chatted to him about his book and also about the future of cops and uh, and uh, you know what they were accomplishing, if anything. Some people say that they're, you know, they've been totally useless. But we only live in one realized um, time path pathway, right? So without any cops, you know, we could already be maybe at three degrees Celsius. Is is a, you know a speculation or two and a half, right? Maybe we're only at one and a half, one point six now because of the cops we would have been much higher. We just don't know. I mean, they're having, at least getting all the countries of the world talking. Anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. So let me uh, just talk a little bit about Project to Save the World and about Meta. And uh, this video, I want to point out, um, only has, as of today, okay, so it was published January 28th. As of today, it only has 30 views. So let's see if we can do something about that. And... Uh, make Meta happy, you know, give her a jump in, in the video. <laughs> so let's uh, go to the beginning. This is Project Save the World, to save the world. Um, and, uh, you know, they've got lots of, um, basically, Project Save the World provides this meeting place for activists and researchers working to save our world from these global problems. So war and weapons... War and weapons, I guess that's one. Global warming, famine, pandemics, radioactive risks, risks, cyber risks, economic, governmental, and human rights risks, and civil society risks. We offer you a choice of forums that we've produced, watch them as videos, Listen as audio podcasts or read transcripts and summaries, columns to discuss aspects of these nine global dangers and an events listing for you to publicize upcoming events and learn about other public activities. So this is a list of forum, forum episodes. She's on episode 256, which is uh, Cop and Us with Dick Breeze and myself, generally attending the meetings of the Congress of Parties, Conference of Parties, actually. The Global Climate Change Conference. Okay. Um, yeah, and you can scroll down and see all these different episodes. Uh, meta on why Trump won. But what's <laughs> Trump expresses outrage, but what is it really about? That was 641. And so it just goes down. You can look at all of the people, good people she's interviewed. This is a board of directors for to save the world. And you might recognize some of these names, um, especially if you're in Canada. Lloyd Axworthy. Um, let's just have a look at him. He was member of the Legislative Assembly of Manitoba, <coughs> member of Parliament, served as Minister of Transport, Minister of Labour, Minister of Employment and Immigration, Minister of Foreign Affairs, President and Vice Chancellor of the University of Winnipeg, He's in the chair of the World Refugee and Migration Council. You know, uh, big big shot politicians, done a lot of stuff. And uh, these other people here, there's lots of different people. David Miller, um, there's Meta right here. Peter Wadhams is on here for global warming. Um, lots of people. This is Peace Magazine. Meta was <coughs> heavily involved in peace movement. Um, nuclear disarmament. Um, this is the Peace magazine. It was published a published magazine, and then it, now it's just online, I think. 
a big editorial committee on it, different section editors and so on, okay? So so lots of people. David Miller, I should know more about him. David Miller. So managing director of the C40 Center for City, Climate Policy and Economy, Mayor of Toronto from 2003 to 2010. Um, many public and private um, positions. He's the author of the book Solved, How the Great Cities of the World are Fixing the Climate Crisis, University of Toronto Press. He's a Harvard-trained economist and professionally a lawyer. So, so lots of good people on the board for this organization. Um, and uh, so it's to save the world. All the links will be in my description of the video. And uh, this is the episode 656, Cop and Us. So um, both of, she's saying both of uh, Nick and I are critical of the agenda of cops. Nick wrote a book called Cop Out, explaining why. So, so this is the video. Um, we actually talked for about 90 minutes, but I think she's shortened it to about 60 minutes. Um, okay, so that's there. And uh, this is Meta Spencer. If you just Google her, she's a Canadian sociologist and writer. And there's a Wikipedia on her and then her own um, website. So let's just have a quick look. So Wikipedia, she was born in on 29th of August, 1931. So just figure, you can work backwards and you can see that um, she's, uh, <coughs> that make, makes it 69 plus 24. She's 93 years old and she's still very active. She tells me that when she films a video, she used to do it, um, do it live feed to YouTube, but then somebody spammed or Zoom bombed her channel. So YouTube shut her down for a couple months. She talked to a friend, managed to talk to the CBC, told them about YouTube, what they were doing, and she, she was unable to contact them and they reinstated her channel. Um, so now she posts on YouTube and Substack and uh, she generates a transcript of the video from a program called Otter, and then she takes that transcript and posts it into her chat GPT-4, which she has a monthly subscription to, and asks it to generate a thousand word summary on the video, and then she posts that on email lists to all kinds of people and stuff. So she works extremely hard. So, so uh, make sure you follow this episode um, that with that I did with Nick Breeze. So, socio she, University of California Berkeley Department of Sociology at U of T in 1971. She taught the Peace and Conflict Studies program. She founded in 1989. Coordinated until her retirement. She retired in 1997. That's like <laughs> that's that's like uh, 27, 28 years ago. She retired. She did. Uh, she authored a Foundations of Modern Sociology textbook, which was published in four American and seven Canadian editions. So, so she's been very active th throughout her life. I mean, she's done all kinds of stuff. More recently, she's been involved a lot in climate change activism by chairing since 2007 a Science for Peace committee <coughs> to study and campaign for carbon taxation. She's researched edutainment or social change through storytelling. Her, in her book, Two Aspirins and a Comedy, How Television Can Enhance Health and Society, 2006, she argues that television could be a force for health and social change. She got the Confederation Medal from the Governor General and other various other awards, and she's done all kinds of stuff. Okay, so that's her Wikipedia page, and this is her... Um, her own personal page, which has her CV, papers, you know, blogs and stuff like that. Um, she says, project to save the world. The human population faces significant risk from at least six current sources. It said nine before. Wars and weapons, especially nuclear, global warming, famine, pandemics, massive radiation exposure, and cyber attacks. They're very independent, but none of the them can be solved without addressing one or more of the others. And there's there's a video archive of her, of her reflections on personal and global history. 
um, how to save the world in a hurry, Peace Magazine. This is all kinds of information on on Meta. So be sure to uh, watch this video and uh, we'll, let's surprise Meta. Everybody go and watch the video and uh, <laughs> then, um, you know, I invited Nick, I introduced Nick to, to Meta. So let's, uh, you know, let's show Nick that lots of people are, are watching this video as well. And uh, yeah, yeah, so 30 views as today as of today, which is the uh, <coughs> February 5th, 2025. So I'll post a video and uh, let's see if we can uh, watch it. It's a, it's a funny interview. We talked, I told some funny uh, cop stories. I told some funny uh, Nick Breeze uh, stories. I talked about how Nick is terrible at marketing because he didn't even bring any copies of his book to the cop and some <laughs> personal stories and I do have lots of other good stories of the Baku Azerbaijan conference and uh, you know some of the things that we did outside the conference uh, specifically you Hunt, Nick Breeze, myself and then uh, one night <laughs> at a pub and then the next night we went back to the same place and uh, with uh, Charles and Heidi and uh, also um, with uh, some other people so Anyway, it was, uh, yeah, it was quite an experience, Baku, Azerbaijan. And, uh, you know, on the on the subject of cops, I mean, people are thinking about the next cop in Bellum in the rainforest in, in Brazil, and uh, there's almost no accommodation available, and uh, people living in the area are scamming people who want to stay there for the cop, talking about prices of like 6,000 US per night to stay at a place. So, or 8,000 even. So if you stay for two weeks, uh, you know, you're paying over 100,000. <laughs> Just to, like it, you know, who's going to go? How are people from the global south even going to go? I mean, the organizers of COP30 are talking about putting cruise boats out in the harbor to accommodate people. You know, uh, they say they're expecting 40, 50,000 people. And yet, you know, in the middle of the Amazon rainforest, and yet, if people can't stay anywhere, people won't be showing up. So, so they'll get a hundred, they'll get five hundred people. Which maybe, maybe that's the way these things should go. I'm not sure. Anyway, in this video, you know, Nick and I talk a lot with Meta about the uh, about COP29 and all the all the cops back to COP COP uh, to the to the uh, COP uh, I guess COP20 or something in uh, the, the whatever the COP was in in. Uh, in Paris, um, maybe that was 20 I heard. Anyway, um, yeah, so, and uh, I should just, yeah, so it's well worth watching. So don't, don't miss this. Um, it's a really good chat um, with, uh, with Nick Breeze. I don't interview people for my, this specific YouTube channel. So um, I do do, you know, lots of chats and interviews with people. Often I'm interviewed myself, but uh, I'm starting to be more proactive and do interviews uh, uh, with uh, other groups uh, and connect people in other groups that I know of to try to get raise more awareness on what's happening with climate change. So anyway, thanks for listening. Please consider going to paulbeckwith.net and donating to PayPal to support my research and videos on this channel, but also to allow me to, to do um, some of the many other things um, and I just posted a video on my chat with Alex Smith for Radio EcoShock. And I say in the description, um, I said, please donate to paulbeckwith.net to support my research and videos. But by donating, you are also enabling me to perform many interviews outside of this channel. These include CEF, which is Climate Emergency Forum, that's with Peter Carter and uh, Herb Simmons, often Regina Valtez, and it's run by uh, Charles Charles um, and Heidi, and uh, FacingFuture.tv. Um, I did a cement interview recently with a friend of mine, um, uh, Martin Hallowell, who runs a cement construction cement company about the c footprint of, of cement. CMOS, the Canadian Meteorological and Oceanographic Society, 
uh, KCOR, the Canadian Associ Association of the Club of Rome, and I'll do a video um, next, I believe, on my talk last week at KCOR on AI and climate change, the project to save the planet, which is the meta, this video, the meta video, and many, many others. It keeps me busy, busy and usually out of trouble. Not always, but usually out of, out of trouble. So, so anyway, yes, so um, that was my previous previous video that I just posted. So I'll be posting lots of videos so I can get through these tabs on, on what I've been up to outside of this channel recently. So thanks again. And, uh, you know, please consider um, uh, supporting me to, to let me <coughs> have the greatest fun in the world posting all of these, uh, these things. And uh, another video I just saw today was um, uh, the Canadian, well, I talked uh, a week ago to the Canadian Club of Rome on AI, and this week's talk was on how the human brain is, has not evolved quick enough to keep up with our modern technology. It's by Bill Rees, which is R-E-E-S. You can Google him. I'll probably do a separate video on his, on what he was talking about today because it was, it was fascinating stuff. So anyway, thanks for listening and uh, bye for now.